Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. We're back in our HQ after a bit of a mini vacation, and we're coming back to a packed week of comics. And this is this is just the minimum of what we're covering this week. It is uh, it's filled. It's very filled, which is pretty cool. It means we got we got some cool stuff to do. Lots to cover. All right, let's dive into the single issues before going over to the uh, into the graphic novels. This was actually came out last week, Serial Number 8 by Terry Moore. I've loved this series so far. Uh, it's about a serial killer and the kind of like supernatural girl that's hunting the serial killer down. I think every single issue has been building on the previous one. Um, and just, I really enjoy this. It started off slow, but I think it's really picked up. And uh, it's become uh, one of my uh, favorites for each uh, month to read. So I'm, I'm really kind of excited about that, uh, you know, to see where it goes. Um, all right, next we got Cross to Bear, issue number two. Um, so this was an, it was an interesting uh, series. I don't even, I like, it's one of those, I don't know what I want to, to spoil and not spoil, um, but it's just kind of a cool, um, it's just kind of like a cool detective story done in the past. I want to leave it at that. Like, it's really, it's not quite what I thought it was. Um the first issue, but it, it grew on me. Like, the, the first issue was one that I, I was hoping would be good, wasn't what I expected, still wound up being a pretty solid issue. Um, I, you know, I, it's, it's funny, I just don't want to ruin it, because, yeah, so we'll talk a little bit, uh, of course we'll talk about way more when we review the actual comic itself, but um, the first issue was was pretty pretty good. Uh, all right, we got Campisi Dragon Incident, number four. I've been loving this one. This is just straight up moths, uh, mobster versus a dragon. Not much more you need to know uh, than that. This has been a fun uh, series with every single issue. And then we got Search for Who, number three. Another mobster uh, story with two families at war. Uh, what's really kind of cool is it's the Chinese mafia, but one of the families is actually Jewish as well, which I think is really unique and really interesting and nice uh, use of some history that not too many people know about. So uh, I've been loving this just because of the fact that it's using some history. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, all right, we've got this one. We've got Passport by Sophia Glock. Uh, published by Little Brown Company. I've been excited to dive into this. We're, go we're going in our graphic novels at this. Uh, so it's a graphic memoir, and then she's the life of a teenager um, whose parents actually work for the CIA. That just concept sounds freaking awesome. So out this week, um, really, really pumped to read that one just because, again, the concept is so cool. All right, we've got the Free Speech Handbook. I've been loving this from World Citizens Comics from first second. They've been doing a great line of books uh, having to do with politics. It's part of the World Citizen books. Um, I myself uh, have a degree in political science, worked in pol uh, worked in politics for over 20 years. So this has just been fun to read uh, to from that background and my perspective as far as that. You know, I haven't agreed with everything that was written in there, but I always find them very educational and interesting no matter what. Uh, definitely, the, every single one has got me to think uh, think some you know think through some things. So um, this has been a pretty solid series. Really recommend that. I don't know anything about this. So the creepy case files of Margot Malou, the Tangled Web. Um, the format is seems really, really cool. There's two previous volumes. I believe one's being released as a, a soft cover as well this week. Uh, this is what a Tangled Web we weave. Charles thought he was prepared to be a monster mediator's assistant after all. Following Margot Malou on her cases has already taken him to the sum of Echo City's most perilous places of vampires, lair, and ogre's den, and even a monster grocery store. But now that Margot has disappeared on a secret mission of her own, Charles must face one of his biggest conundrums of his career alone, who is the mysterious online presence known as underscore eldritch underscore truth, and why are they luring kids and monsters into disaster? Another kid detective uh, series. I'm, I'm liking this. These tend to be really good. And then it's funny, from one uh, interesting layout to another, we have the Golden Age Book 2, I believe this is. Yep. Um, I, again, I didn't read the first volume of this. It's um, it's a, a medieval saga. I'm, hopefully, I should be able to dig out the first volume and check it out. Um, a bloody revolution rages across the kingdom and, and Trevier's. I mean, that sounds cool to me. Uh, and among the commoners whispers about the legendary golden age, a time when all men live freely, ye have reached a fever pitch. Tilda began her journey, wanting to free her people from the iron fist of the ruling class, but she has lost her way. Obsessed with reclaiming her stolen throne, she forces her army to wage a feudal war without pay or food. She has become what she hated, a heartless ruler, and the threat of rebellion begins to boil. Shit, that sells me. Um, so, yeah, that's... Sounds pretty cool to me. That, that's the type of story I like. Um, overall, this is a pretty hopping week of books. There's, I'm sure, so much more 
will have reviewed. I know there is tons of stuff we need to unbox and go over. Uh, I've got a massive pile of cool, cool releases uh, and items that will uh, show off on like Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, if you want the latest news, reviews, interviews, and more, every single day, check us out at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. Of course, show up here every single day at Graphic Policy Television GPTV for the latest reviews as well. It'll be something every single day. Uh, new videos, usually multiple. Uh, so check back often. As always, much appreciated and thanks so much. Uh, I, of course, want to thank For Second and Little Brown and Company and Aftershock for all hooking us up with review copies of all these releases. And then Abstract is the one I pay for because I love me some Terry Moore. Um, so yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.